Hey everyone. So I'm still hanging out in Florida. I've been here for just about four days now, just kind of taking it easy and, and hanging out. Surf hasn't been very good the last couple days. It's flat, but I'm just happy to be over here. The weather's been beautiful, hanging out by the beach. It's been, uh, it's been really nice. Stayed at another Walmart last night and uh, just kind of hung out. I've basically been switching off between the Walmarts. They're all open to overnight parking. There was a Sprinter van conversion parked right next to me last night uh, from Canada. And then there's also this, this orange Honda Element parked right next to me as well, which definitely has curtains in the window and there's definitely folks camping out in there for sure. So uh, pretty, uh, it seemed like it was pretty okay just to be hanging out at the Walmarts. But I think I'm gonna head back to New Orleans at some point either tonight or tomorrow. I realized that I have not cooked in a while. I haven't really used my propane stove much. I've been eating out a ton. I haven't really taken the time to cook a like a good meal, and I just I really want to cook something, <laughs> cook something nice. So I'm gonna try something completely different that I've never done before. Uh, they didn't have everything that I needed at Walmart though, so I'm probably gonna head over to a grocery store and then go find a nice little spot by the bay or by the water somewhere and uh, and cook up some lunch. So I found this uh, pretty nice little park right here. Show you guys around a little bit. Nice little view of the bay. Pretty nice overall. I got a nice little picnic table over here and it's a beautiful day out. A little bit of road noise, so I'm sorry if it's a little loud, but should be a good spot to make up some, uh, some lunch. I decided to go with a seared tuna. I've never ever cooked this before in a house or or in a, you know, on a camp stove or anywhere. So it could end up pretty terribly. I'm a little bit worried about it, but it's not too hard to do. I mean, you can pretty much eat tuna raw. So that's why I decided to go with it mostly, but it is one of my favorite things to eat. So I'm gonna try it and, uh, and, and give it a shot. All right, so I'm just getting the pan ready here with a little bit of butter and olive oil. All right, so we're just gonna put the uh, piece of tuna on here. Just let it cook for Probably about two minutes or so on each side, and then it should be done, I assume, but we'll find out. There it is. So that cooked like insanely quickly, like less than a minute on each side. So I overcooked it a little bit. Still a few good pieces though that are a little bit rare, uh, but it's, uh, cause I, I like it really rare normally, but you can see it's a little pink still, but it is, a, it's more like, um, I wouldn't say it's well done, but it's, it's definitely a little bit overcooked, but it still tastes really good. I also got some soy sauce here and some wasabi that I made. So I made a little mixture on the side there, which I'm gonna dip it in. And then I have some spinach as well, which I'm just gonna munch on, to get some greens and some vegetables. I might cook up and saute some of that spinach in a minute as well. Uh, so that I, I don't know, eat more of it, I guess. <laughs> Overall, I'd say lunch was a success. Uh, maybe like a maybe like a 75% success. <laughs> Some of the pieces of tuna were definitely a little bit overcooked. I like it really rare, so uh, I just I, I couldn't believe how quickly the camp stove cooked some of that some of some of that meat it was pretty incredible how, how fast it just cooked all the way through I mean literally some of those pieces were were cooked all the way through within like 20 to 30 seconds so when the recipe said like you know two to three minutes on each side two minutes on each side uh, it, it was way too much for for what I was trying to do but you know it worked out you know some of the pieces were pretty rare some of them were still pretty good the spinach was really good as well it definitely not the most budget conscious meal the uh, the tuna steak was 
a little bit more expensive than I thought. I thought it was going to be like five or six bucks, but it ended up being like nine bucks. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. I uh, spoiled myself a little bit, I guess, but it was uh, definitely, definitely delicious and definitely worth it. Next time, I got to remember though, 20 seconds. So I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day just kind of hanging out, try to hang outside for a couple more hours just because it's such a beautiful day here. And the weather, I think, is supposed to get pretty cold. Uh, you know, but I, once I get back to New Orleans tomorrow and then for, you know, for a few days, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty cold, like in the twenties, I think they said one night. So I'm going to enjoy this beautiful 70 degree sunshine day and hang out in this park for a little bit and explore. Mm -hmm.